Hi there. My name's Adam Franklin and I'm the co-author of the book Web Marketing That Works that I wrote with my business partner and good friend Toby Jenkins. Welcome to my training on the web strategy planning template. This is our flagship piece of content that we co-created with David Meeman Scott. And if you don't know David, he is the best-selling author of the book The New Rules of Marketing and PR. So we joined forces on this template because we'd been reading a lot of his books and his ideas really resonated with us and we put it into this template so that we could teach our clients how everything fit together. Because one of the most confusing parts when you get into web marketing is how does it all work? How does the web universe fit together and what are the building blocks that make it all happen? So this training is exactly what I teach private clients. It's exactly what I teach in keynote presentations around the world. And if you are a digital marketing consultant, I encourage you to watch this training and use this template yourself with your own clients. You can co-brand it if you like. It's released under Creative Commons, which means you can edit it, you can build upon it, you can even use it commercially. We want you to take this template and make it your own. You can stick your logo up in the top right hand corner, there's space for it there. And I encourage you to use this template with your own clients. Because when we are in the web marketing world, it's often easy to forget that other people outside of our world don't understand all the bits that make it um, come together. So when you're consulting to clients, I encourage you to use this template as a framework to educate them as to how it all fits together. And if you're watching this video and you're a business owner, entrepreneur or marketing manager, then this training is exactly what I would teach you if we were doing a one-on-one -on -one consultation or if you came to one of my presentations or workshops. So let's kick it off. You'll see in the middle of the diagram sits your website. Now the website is centered to your web universe. It's the most important piece of the puzzle because that's where the commercial outcomes take place. So some of the components that you need on your website, you need a landing page and you need it to be mobile and tablet friendly. So you need it to be responsive. This is stuff that your web designer should be able to take care of, but you now understand what it needs to be. So on your website, the name of the game, if you look over on the right hand side, is to eventually get people to purchase something from you. If you're in business, you do want to have customers and revenue so that you can serve the people in your community. So when people purchase, they can either buy something, maybe it's an upsell, or maybe it's a membership continuity type of purchase, like a magazine subscription. But of course, before people are comfortable buying from you, they need to hopefully inquire first. So they need to know who you are, they can either pick up the phone and call you, they can fill out an, uh, an, a, an email opt-in form, or they might just email you. So people need to be able to inquire. And all this while, you can see on the right hand side there's a column where trust is increasing. So you need to have all these stepping stones in place so that people can increase their level of trust with you. Before people inquire, however, it's really beneficial if they've had the opportunity to connect with you. People can connect with you via social media, via email, via webinars and email autoresponders. And each of those topics is a whole training video all of its own, but these are very powerful ways for people to get to know, like and trust you. And before you get the opportunity to connect with somebody, it's very, very important to have something that is a free download on your website. I refer to it as flagship content. You might know it as a lead magnet. It can take the form of ebooks or templates or reports or checklists. What you're hoping to achieve here is deliver a valuable, helpful, useful piece of content that people are prepared to identify themselves to receive. So typically they would need to enter their email address and their name and that way you've got this ability to deliver value and communicate with them over time. 
So that's the pathway you want to take people on. It's the pathway you want to create and the journey you want to take people on. A free download, then they connect with you, then hopefully the right people inquire and the right people purchase and continue to purchase from you. So that is the journey you want to take people on on your website. But of course, getting people to your website is a battle all of its own. Because there's hundreds of millions of websites on the internet, how are people going to find yours? Well, there's three main ways people can find you. The first is through Google. Now, we all use Google. We all type in queries into that search box. There's two major types of search results. There's the organic search results known as SEO, search engine optimization, focuses on getting you ranked and visible on the organic results in Google. And of course, there's paid Google AdWords. So this is known often as SEM, search engine marketing, or pay-per-click. And this is the act of paying Google to have ads appear in the sponsored link section of the search results. So both of those techniques are effective. In my personal experience, I've opted to focus on SEO, search engine optimization, because that way you not only do you get more, typically more people click on the organic search results, but if you do create content and get ranked, you do the, you front load the work and you ideally remain visible for a long period of time. If you do AdWords, you're literally paying for every click. So if you stop paying Google money, you stop appearing in the search results. So that can get incredibly expensive and addictive. I prefer to build a long-term asset over time. And once all the building blocks are in place and the web strategy system is working, then you've got the opportunity to scale up using paid advertising. Okay, so that's Google. And of course, other search engines, Yahoo and Bing as well, but Google is of course the main one. The next way that people can find you is via backlinks. Now a backlink is a link on somebody else's website that if you click on it, it takes them to your website. So a backlink might include someone who's written a blog article and mentioned you and linked back to your site. It might be a news article that somebody has written about you that links back to your site. There's all different types of backlinks that you can get. You can get them through guest blogging. You might have a speaker bio where you link back to your website. You might have news releases or win awards or run events and other people link back to your site. There's all sorts of different backlinks. Now the reason that they're so valuable is twofold. Firstly, somebody is sending a visitor, a human being who's visiting their site and is sending it to your website. Now that is a huge vote of confidence. They're, think about that, they're, taking, they're inviting somebody to leave their website to come to yours. Now you wouldn't do that lightly. So not only is that sending you traffic directly from this other site, but also it's a very big vote of confidence it's a very strong signal to Google. Because Google's not a human being, it's a robot or an algorithm. So it is looking at signals across the web that indicate whether or not you are an authority. So somebody linking to your site is incredibly powerful in what it's saying to Google. Now of course, not all backlinks are created equal. It is much more valuable to get a backlink from a high authority site much more valuable than it is to get a backlink from a low authority site. Now for the moment, that's all we need to worry about backlinks, but the more good quality backlinks you get, you get not only traffic directly, but you get more visibility and better rankings on Google. All right, so the final way people can find your website is through the circus down the bottom, social media and content marketing. You'll see here, this is where you have all the weird sounding social platforms that you may or may not have heard of depending on how active you are. But things like Facebook and LinkedIn and Google+, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Periscope, YouTube. Now these are all social platforms where you can publish and share content. What ties all of these social platforms back to your website 
is your blog. And you can see there that the blog is actually part of your website, but it's typically the blog that houses the content that you would then share across Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, etc. You can also build apps, you can also have podcasts, you can also do email marketing. These are all types of content marketing that fit within the social media section of this template. So as people share your content and as you share your content through social platforms, what it does is it exposes new people to your material. And if somebody, for example, tweets your content a lot or shares it on Facebook or shares it on LinkedIn, what it's doing is it's rippling through the social networks and being exposed to more people. So of course if somebody then clicks on a link that takes them back to your blog, then hopefully they read the blog article, they follow a call to action to download something and they go into that process on the right hand side there where they download something, hopefully they connect with you, hopefully they inquire from you and hopefully they buy something from you. So the more people you can get to your website, which is your home base, whether it's through Google, backlinks or social media, the more people are entering your ecosystem and the more people are able to go on that journey to doing business with you. So that's how I explain the front side of the web strategy planning template. As I said, if you're a digital marketing consultant, I encourage you to take the time to explain how this web universe fits together to your clients. And if you're watching this as a business owner, marketing manager or entrepreneur, now you understand how the web universe fits together. You understand all the building blocks that are there and how they fit together. And now it's time to talk about your buyer persona and who your ideal customer is. So thanks for listening to the first part of this training series. My name's Adam Franklin and I'll see you in the next video.